are going to talk today about a very sensitive topic, which is the price and value of a home. So the price of something can be a very, very nebulous thing, unless you are comparing apple to apple. Although even then, we still need to find the best apple to buy. Not too ripe, not too many blemishes, and certainly no wormholes on that. So when you think about it, even when we are literally comparing apple to apple, we still find it difficult to make decisions. What price in a home can be for each one of us if even for deciding which apple to buy becomes so difficult, right? So there are huge consequences from, for not pricing a home correctly at the outset. One thing many agents and homeowners don't, don't think about is about the buyer's mentality. Buyers will take advantage of any leverages that can need to drive prices down. If the home is not valued correctly, sellers may have to lower their asking price. Buyers can smell blood in the water and will always be below your new price adjustment. So you really, really must come as close to accurate market value pricing as you can. The very first time that the property hits the market. But when it comes to pricing, let's focus on two fundamentals. So the first in the seller, the owner of the asset, working with an agent decides the listing price. And the second, the market decides the selling price, that which means the buyer of the asset ultimately determines the home's value and not the seller. Of course, many sellers won't want to accept these fundamentals. They will come up with objection to the agent's valuation or reject the reasonable offers that buyers might present. Some seller will voice very strong objections. Sellers frequently believe that their home is worth more than its market value. In such cases, the emotions will run high and we get it. After all, the seller lived their lives and perhaps it's where they raise their kids. These are deep emotional anchors. In addition to the emotional side, the home is typically their greatest financial asset. I've seen sellers who have taken complete renovation and labored all over detail. Unfortunately, the market does not take into account the love and care that the pre previous owner may have poured into the home over years. One of the objections I received from the seller most of the time is that I want to make $400,000 from this house. The best example I can give you to anchor the concept of the market price is, for example, if Microsoft stock is trading to $175 per share today, can you reach out to your stockholder and place an order to sell your Microsoft stock shares at $300 per share, right? You cannot do that. The greatest selling people, including the real estate agent, has the ability to put themselves in the buyer's shoes. Let's consider how a buyer thinks when buying a used car, for example. So any scratches or dents? How about the paint job? What is the mileage? What does the interior look and smells like? How is the sound system? Any tears or holes in the seats? What's the carpet like? So in the same way a home buyer thinks and see the property you are selling in a totally different perspective. So I hope this discussion illustrates how important a home's condition is in the buyer's mind. Regardless of the competition, homes that are in great condition typically sell faster and at a higher price. So in summary, Accurately assessing and evaluating the conditions of a home is one of the biggest advantages of working with an agent. To create an accurate home evaluation, it's a careful selection of several recently sold, similar, comparable properties. I hope you find my video helpful. And if you have any questions or you would love to know how much your home is worth it, 
just comment below and I make sure to come back to you as soon as I can. Have a blessed day.